I love it when a product has a regular version and then a pro version. Like if you're just an average person, by all means get the no pro version. If you are a professional, then you have to get the pro version. Much like, say, the pro PlayStation Pro. Well, I didn't get one because I'm an amateur gamer. But maybe one day. Anyway, this is a Viper knockoff. And knowing that, I'm not sure why I bought this mouse. Uh, it is a pro at feeling cheap and heavy. The plastic used is not really like any other mouse I've tried or used. It's, it's, it's difficult to explain. Uh, but without any kind of texture, it feels like... It feels like if you dropped it, it wouldn't like break or crack. It would just shatter into a, a billion particles. Um, I, I'm not sure how to convey that. It just... There's no give to it at all. It's just super, super brittle, I guess is the word. Um, but let's let's carry on with how it feels. Uh, the mouse wheel is fine, um, but the clicking, when you click it, the rubber on it feels a little loose, like almost, it was, it almost as if it could like slide off. Um, the top buttons, the right and left, are okay they feel a little hollow uh, but we'll get in more in that in, in just a minute uh, the side buttons are raised if you can tell and they're a little blocky I don't know if you can tell that but they're they they don't follow the the feel of the mouse they're kind of just like popped out and you can push them like all the way in see like that like like it clicks there and then you can go further it's just not 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 good um but again i think it's trying to you know emulate the the razor viper okay sliding is perfectly fine and this uses the paw 3395 sensor and it gets the job done I'm having no real issue aiming with this mouse, but the buttons, again, the sensitivity is off a little bit. Um, I hate to sound fake, but I can't, I, I can't really put my finger on it. <laughs> Pun intended. Uh, it, there's some kind of delay, or the switch, maybe it's just being cheap. Um, these are using the uh, Hanoi Blue Shell Pink Dot switches, if I'm saying that correctly. And I'm guessing they're inexpensive. Um, they're just not... They don't really do anything for me, I guess, basically. They're they're fine. They're okay. They're they're not they don't speak to me and and you can hear them. Let's see what I mean? Like the up click, like when you let go of it, it just sounds like it's not supposed to do that. Okay, so anyway, moving on. It's got USB-C, which is surprising. DPI is 50 to 26,000, of course. Um, and you do get a lot in the box. Now, you get a cable, you get a dongle, you get the mouse. Dongle can go right there. Uh, and you also get, and this is a plus, and people need to start doing this, but you actually get white grip tape for a white mouse. Stop putting black tape when you buy a white mouse. Seriously, these guys get it. And this mouse is not good, but these guys get it. Okay, anyway, it's got a manual. Nobody really cares about that. Uh, you've got um, spare feet, which feel, they don't feel like PFET feet. They kind of feel like just regular plastic. Maybe that's why the sliding is just kind of okay. It's not really fantastic. But get this, it comes with glass feet. It comes with a pair of glass feet. Uh, which I'm tempted to put on, but I'm not sure if I'm keeping this mouse. I, I don't know if I would I wouldn't use this mouse so but it, that's some nice features that come in the box. I mean, I, I think it's more like sorry we sold you this mouse that is not that great. Here have some glass gates. I don't know. So we're gonna look at the software and we're gonna leave this mouse behind for right now and we're gonna come back to it. but I will also mention, that you do have three options on here 
for wireless. And I want to see if I can get the camera to focus on this because it's super tiny. Can you see that? Maybe it'll... Yeah. Anyway. It is 2.4 Bluetooth and Bluetooth 2. Wow, that's really not picking it up. It's just my camera or the lighting. I don't know. So you, you can... I don't know why there's a Bluetooth 2. I guess another device. So you can have your computer as Bluetooth and then another device Bluetooth. So again, that's a, that's a nice feature. That's kind of cool because if you've got two computers and you want to use another mouse, you just hit that button and it goes to the, the next Bluetooth. So they're, they've got some good stuff. I mean, there's, there's a good idea. I mean, they don't put a crappy sensor in it and they give you some really cool stuff that comes with it and they give you that feature. But this, this just feels, oh yee. Okay, before we get into the software, let's compare. This is the Razer Viper. This is not the X-Men. This is like the cheapest one they make. Um, and I got it on sale. So, And I rarely use it because I'm just not crazy about the shape. But uh, obviously, it is reminiscent of it. But it's smaller. It's a little bit smaller. But it's almost that, the same shape. The DPI button is put right here and not on the bottom. And of course, you know, it's not ambidextrous like this one is. It doesn't have grip right here. It does have a different texture. Let's see if I can get this camera to focus. You were focusing yesterday. Anyway, yeah, there we go. So it's got like a little bit of a texture there. This is, you know, and right here, it's nothing really great. Um, and then the back, you can see. And I like their logo. It's like an X. It's like, no. It's the bottom of it. And another comparison, which I'm actually using right now, is the Mini. This is the Viper Mini. So it's kind of like the in-between shape. So just for reference, okay, this is $49.99. This I got... I think for about 30 bucks and this was also this was actually less than 20 I got this on sale for 20 bucks both of these are better than this mouse in pretty much every way and even I'm gonna break out my all corded by the way this one is also 59.99 this is the if you don't know, let's get that one out of the way. This is the HyperX Haste. This is the original Haste. Um, as far as buttons, feel, sensor, wheel, again, everything about this mouse is better than this mouse. I could go on, but I, I think you get the point. So, Honestly, for $50, you can get a better mouse. If you have to have wireless, honestly, spend 30 bucks and get the Logitech G305. It's a little bit heavier. This one's 73 grams, by the way. This one is, with a battery, I think it's, it's almost 80. But again, Cheaper, wireless, better. There's really no reason to get this mouse. It does come with some nice features as far as what you get with them. And the having two, having Bluetooth and 2.4 gigahertz and an extra Bluetooth is a nice feature. But again, if it's not comfortable, if it's not enjoyable to use, then what is the point? What is the point of this mouse? So that's what I think. If you've got one and you like it, leave a comment below why you like it. I mean, it's all subjective. These are my opinions. I'm not saying you're, you're dumb for buying this mouse. I'm saying that if you're shopping for a mouse, I would not suggest this one. And let's look at the software too, because this is again where it gets a little weird. Okay, so this is <clears throat> so 
So this looks like somebody's Visual Basic homework. I like that everything is just kind of right here, um, but it doesn't really give you a whole lot. You got your macro editor, of course. You got all your button key assignments, your battery life, power management, mouse parameter. I love that. It, it just gives you a shortcut to your mouse settings. Debounce, you can actually move the debounce. I think the previous version, you couldn't do that. And then the LOD height, I don't think you could do that in the previous version either. So that may be some added pluses. And then polling rate, of course, it's set to 500 default. Set that to 1000, okay? Or 125 if you just wanna be challenging. Okay, anyway. So, and this is what's weird. Okay, so you've got these LEDs for the different DPIs and it changes on your wheel. So when you hit the DPI switch, the wheel actually shows that color. But otherwise, you can't control it. You can't turn it on, you can't turn it off. That's pretty much all you get. So it's, again, it's nothing flashy. It, it's kind of like the mouse. It gets the job done. You go in here, you set it up, you're done. It doesn't seem to be that evasive. You unplug it. I mean, unplug the mouse, turn this off, and then it goes away forever. It's actually called... Oh, wow. It's, it, it really is gone. Uh, it's actually called the driver. Deluxe M80 Pro driver. And that, that's what it comes up as. So... Okay, so back to the mouse. All in all, it does have a couple of features. You get, you do get glass gates with it and some cool tape. Uh, it does have another function for Bluetooth. But all in all, buttons, not great. Sliding, fine. Wheel, uh, not my favorite at all. Um, it's not pleasurable to use. It's easy. It's fine. It works as a mouse. But for 50 bucks you can get a, a haste an original probably even for cheaper this one was cheaper uh but i got it because it looks like my logo <laughs> and i'm a, just a super ham so there you go this for me is a pass i probably will re if the if the quality was a little bit better i would keep this mouse and i would just pass it along to someone else but honestly i don't think i would want to lose a friend over this it's handing this over to someone else so i'm, I'm gonna have to return it so that's it. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching. I have some more stuff coming up. So subscribe. Hit me a like. It helps me out a bunch. And I'll see you next time.